free writing. One of the things that's going on in the world is, uh, uh, of course, the United States is now uh, has uh, its fleet together with the British and some other uh, uh, some other navies out in the uh, Red Sea. And there's a bunch of stories about how uh, the, 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 basically the, uh, the Chinese are free writing on, um, uh, on, on the, uh, on the West. That is, uh, the United States is, is protecting the sea lanes who, and who benefits from that? Well, China benefits from that. And uh, well, that is true, partially true. It is also interesting, and it, it, it brought to mind a few, a few thoughts. One um, is the fact that the fact that the one country's ships that are not being attacked on the Red Sea are, are Chinese ships. Chinese ships are getting a, a, a free ride through the Red Sea. And, and this suggests that, that China has put some pressure on Iran. Iran has told its uh, proxies in among the Houthis not to attack Chinese ships. So if you want to cross the Red Sea, uh, Chinese ownership, Chinese flag, Chinese crew would really, really, really help. So Chinese, one of the reasons the Chinese have not deployed their navy one of the reasons they're letting Americas uh, do all the heavy lifting here is not only because it's cheap and easier to do that. The Chinese do have a couple of ships uh, from the Navy in the Aden Sea, so not far from this. But uh, to some extent, at least, because uh, some of the ships uh, that are Chinese ships are getting free passage. Uh, of course, it is also true that the Chinese are not getting vote. The Chinese do benefit enormously from all these other ships carrying Chinese goods to Europe because they're the sellers. But of course, the idea that uh, they are free riding and Europe is not is bizarre. Of course, Europe is free riding as well because Europe is benefiting from American protection uh, and getting the cheap goods from China without deploying its forces in order to protect that free flow of goods, again, with the exception of the UK. So, but uh, this really evades a much bigger issue. And that is the fact that the entire world, since World War II, has basically been free riding off the United States. In a sense, and, and of course, the United States benefits from this enormously, but other countries, European countries, China, China, the rest, uh, really the rest of the world, does not really share in the costs. And that is that since World War II, the United States has basically been the protector of trade in the open seas. Uh, China is a huge beneficiary of this. And so has uh, uh, Europe and, again, the rest of the world, everybody who trades with anybody. And, I, I, you know, 80% of the goods travel in, uh, that are traded globally travel by sea. Uh, in, in the United States Navy is the one that protects that. The United States Navy is funded by you and me. And as a consequence, it is our funding that keeps it all going. And, of course, the free riding problem is much larger than that because... Uh, NATO has been, uh, uh, you know, the United States has basically been protecting Europe from the Soviet Union and now from Russia without the Europeans really uh, uh, paying uh, into that in any kind of uh, reasonable way. Really, the Europeans are big enough, rich enough, strong enough. They should be able to pay for their own defense. Why do they need the United States at all other than the convenience of being able to free ride off of it? I mean, the deal should be cut. A big deal should be cut. Whereas the United States will sustain a navy that protects the shipping lanes around the world. And at the same time, it should, uh, you know, in a sense, leave NATO and let NATO, let NATO become a European defense agency that basically protects Europe. So the U.S. will take the shipping, will take uh, the sea lanes, and uh, Europe will take Europe and defend it from Russia, 
Islamism and whoever else poses a threat uh, to the countries within Europe. That's kind of a global deal that should be made. Um, China is not to be made deals with. So uh, the United States still will have the burden of protecting the sea lanes in Asia, uh, not just in the rest of the world. Uh, it, it would be good to find other seafaring nations, certainly Japan, South Korea, uh, that have a strong interest in keeping the sea lanes open and have good navies. Japan has an excellent navy uh, and uh, uh, promote their participation in this mission uh, to keep trade, to keep ships, uh, 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 to keep trade uh, flowing through the shipping lanes of the world.